Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. How is everybody doing today? I'm going to be talking about a Marvel show, another Netflix show called The Punisher. The Punisher stars John Berenthal as Frank Castle, The Punisher. I really like him in the role. When I first heard about it, I was excited. I know him from, I think he's on the first two seasons of The Walking Dead. And he's been in some movies, but I really liked him a lot. The first season has Evan Moss Barak as Micro. He's from the comic books. Uh, helps him out every once in a while. Helps the Punisher here and there. You have Ben Bonds as Billy Russo. You also have a couple of um, characters from other shows. So you have Deborah Ann Wolf as Karen Page. For the most part, the characters and the... Um, environment around the Punisher is a little different to me than the other shows. I'll say right now there's going to be no spoilers, no major reveals. To start, we have to talk about Season 2 of Daredevil. I think that season is an incredible season. Perhaps uh, one of the best comic adaptions. And that's where you get a sort of origin beginnings of the Punisher, although he's already in the um, scheme of things from his point of view, and he mixes it up with Daredevil for roughly half the season, and technically and he's involved in the story. So that's where you would start. However, the Punisher series itself, two seasons, does a good job of setting him on his own path. You won't get as many References to the movies, from my recollection. I might say, off the bat, I like season one better than two. But it's a very good show. They're so close. I just think maybe the weight of the first season is a little more impactful for me. There's a good character interactions in the show. Especially when you see um, certain characters from the other Netflix shows come in. There's a brut brutality to the character that's always been um, something I liked in the comics. So this is a character maybe more so than Daredevil, than Iron Fist, than Luke Cage. Probably, probably Jessica Jones for that matter because she was created later. It's a character I remember following. I actually had his first appearance in Spider-Man. I don't even know if I have that comic anymore. We had a fire when we were younger. And there were character arcs and certain, let's say, um, artists and writers that would take on the Punisher had fantastic runs. He's a character that doesn't have superpowers and is the quintessential vigilante and his methods are most of the time lethal. And they don't shy away from it in the show. They don't hold up on almost anything. Sometimes when you think the camera's actually going to pull away, it won't. The first season is more of finding out the truth of Frank's origins or the Punisher's origins. What are the misconceptions that he had? What did he miss? It's not a major revelation, but the Punisher is created in a sense when his family is murdered. And in Daredevil, it's a reference and talking about what happened in the second and the first season of the Punisher, you get the truth and when he finds out the truth that's where the first season's arc goes second season does continue it well i have a nitpick with the characters who are chosen in their arcs some characters are amazing when you get the 
um, like the main, the other main characters in the uh, show, uh, Amber Rose Reva plays Dinah Madani, so she's like a Homeland Security. These are people; they are excellent. I'm not too happy with the villain, or let's say the second season portrayal of the villain, without giving much away. Maybe not so believable to me. Nothing that makes me not like the show, but I like to be honest. And even when I rewatched it, it was still there. So I tried to give it a shot. Overall, both the seasons are really good. And like I said, I would favor one. There's some spectacular scenery, action scenes. They up their game, but it does feel a little more detached from the Marvel Universe. Maybe it's the order of how the shows came out, because I'm going to be doing a Defenders podcast. But technically, the Punisher is, a little, is after that, although Season 2 of Daredevil was before. Maybe if they... Had well, there were rumors that they had arguments in the divisions. Maybe that kind of bleeds into the show. It doesn't harm it in any way. But unlike the first seasons of the other Netflix shows, where you kind of feel it's in the Marvel universe and you get that flavor every once in a while, I would say the Punisher moves away from that, and maybe it's a good thing. Obviously, he's not a monster. Although at times he can be a monster. The Punisher has no tolerance for uh, severe crimes, let's say. And even the minor ones. You gotta watch out because he'll just lose his shit. So there is a gaining his self back um, after season two of Daredevil when season one picks up. What brings him back is uncovering the truth about his family. And season two finds him not really wanting this mantle and this um, quest. And it happens to lure him back in. It ends really good. I have a couple of nitpicks, like I said, with the portrayal of the actor and the arc a certain character would go through not enough to really bother me too much again this is something I say in a lot of them you can get these actors to do the movies there's no way I'm going to be convinced that this Berenthal character can't pull it off he's already been in movies I would like to see them put these characters into the big screen. The Marvel's so bloated now, for lack of a better word. Maybe they would continue a TV series. Hell, if you can get the characters together, just keep doing Defenders shows. Make them specials. Because this isn't a spoiler. Maybe it's something you should know ahead of time. The Punisher's not in the Defenders. And when I do the Defenders podcast, I'll probably go through the sequence of when the shows came out. So technically, yeah, the Punisher was on season two of Daredevil, which is before the Defenders, but they didn't use him. This could be the opportunity. You could use the Punisher to, for a time, agree not to just kill people. I guess if they don't deserve it, he wouldn't anyway. Actor does a real good job of connecting you to Frank's tortured soul, his past, how he deals with it, what he reconciles himself to be. So, good all around. A couple of things I don't agree with. It's brutal, bloody, and relentless. Like I said, there are times I was wondering when the camera would pull away and it just didn't. That's refreshing, but not too much where you're going to um, 
Well, I guess maybe, you know, we're all different. It was just something you don't see a lot. You might have seen the brutality of in Daredevil. And it's up just immediately when the Punisher comes in. So you can tell even though someone like Daredevil will beat somebody to a pulp nearly. And borderline killing them. And when the Punisher shows up. Netflix's Punisher. Solid show. I put it right up there with the Luke Cage. I think it's got... um. A unique flavor, and maybe it's a good thing or bad, worth going, worth giving it a shot. So check out The Punisher, I recommend it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.